Hey, what's going on guys? It's Benno with Skyway Equipment. I am in St. Petersburg, Florida right now. Um, I'm going to take you guys along with me today, pick up some equipment, show you some of our new equipment, and uh, kind of just recap how the last year has been. It seems like uh, we got some likes on the last video, so we decided we'll do another one. So, uh, tag along with me today, check out some of the new stuff, and uh, see if you guys can give us any advice for our new startup equipment rental business so let's go so one thing we've learned in the past year is you will do a lot of driving if you get into equipment rental especially when you're first starting out if you don't have a physical location for people to come pick stuff up all the time you'll do a lot of driving and uh, with diesel 450 a gallon it's not always the cheapest but uh, we add extra fees for delivery um, if people want to pick it up they're welcome to but uh, most people like the convenience of just getting the machine dropped off at their job site or their house and able to get started. So a lot of people ask us like, hey guys, how did you guys get started in this business? How did you even find out about renting out equipment? And uh, for James and I, it just kind of happened one day. Um, about a year and a half ago, we purchased a dump trailer that we decided we were gonna try to rent out. and. Uh, surprisingly did really well and we kind of got tired of dealing with the dump trailer because it's not as passive as we would like we kind of wanted something that we could just drop off and go and then come back and pick back up but with the dump trailer you had to drop it off pick it up go to the dump dump it take it to the next person so there was kind of a lot of steps with it and uh, we really wanted something that we could kind of sit back drop it off and and go so uh we decided to give equipment a shot and we uh, bought our first piece of equipment. So funny enough, our first piece of equipment that we went to purchase was a, I don't even know what year it was. It was an old Kubota tractor thing. It had a like a front loader on the front and one of the small detachable excavator arms. I don't even know what you would call that. Um, like a backhoe and uh, I drove from St. Pete all the way to Crystal River took a trailer with me and, and we're like man we're gonna make a whole bunch of money running out this thing I got there and it ended up being a piece of garbage and uh, I think we were gonna pay like ten or twelve thousand dollars for it so luckily we didn't go that route and uh, so for the next few weeks after that we kind of searched around for different pieces of equipment we looked at skid steers excavators all kind of stuff and uh, if anybody knows the price of equipment, it's not cheap. So we were a little blown away by those prices and um, really didn't know what we were gonna do. We were like, ah, oh, maybe we'll just go get another piece or another trailer, as much as we kind of wanted to stop doing that. Um, and James had the idea like, hey, let's go check out the dealer. Let's just see what they have. Maybe they have some kind of special or something. So we, we went to Kubota, Caterpillar, John Deere, Bobcat, and um, that's where we really learned that um, there's a lot of programs that kind of help people like us get started in the uh, equipment rental business. So uh, we tested out a whole bunch of different kinds of excavators. We were between uh, Caterpillar and Kubota. Big price difference there, but we were really not impressed at all with how the Kubota operated. It wasn't smooth, it was kind of jumpy, and we really enjoyed the Caterpillar. Uh, so our very first piece of equipment that we purchased was a 301.5 cat mini excavator. I'll throw a photo up of it. We had that for probably six months or so. And um, it really kind of opened our eyes that we can rent out equipment and, and we were staying busy with that little thing. So we did have a lot of complaints about it. It was, it was a small machine. I think it probably only weighed like 4,500 pounds or something. It was, it was really small. So we continued to rent that out and uh, we were looking for a skid steer. We had a lot of people asking for a Bobcat. So I want to say in December of 2022, we purchased a Bobcat and I'll throw that up. It was a 2007 S160 Bobcat. We got it at the Mont Auction in Okeechobee. It had, I want to say, 
1100 hours. So it was a really low hour machine. It was owned by the government, so it was pretty well taken care of. And for the next probably three or four months, we consistently rented that thing out like every day. So that really opened our eyes that, hey, this is really something good. We can make some money. And um, at that point, we decided to kind of go all in. We spoke with, uh, same thing again, Caterpillar, John Deere, Bobcat, and uh, we were on the hunt for a track skid machine. Uh, we still had our wheel machine at the time, and uh, we ended up going with Everglades Diesel, or not Everglades Diesel, Everglades Deer. Uh, they have one here in Largo, Plant City, Palmetto. They have them all throughout the south part of Florida. We ended up with our 317, which we still have today. Um, got that guy. Things just got even better with that. Constantly had that thing rented out. We purchased that machine, I think, this year in March. So we've had it about six or seven months. I think it has close to 400 hours on it. We've rented it out a ton. And uh, about a month later, we decided we wanted to upgrade the excavator, get something a little bit bigger. So that's when we went with the 30G, closed cab, thumb, uh, 12, 12 and 24 inch bucket, and um, got really busy with that thing. We traded the Caterpillar in or you know, gave it to them. And um, then about a month after that, we were constantly running both skid steers out and uh, we decided to go ahead and get the 325. So at this point we had the wheel skid machine, the 317, 30G, and 325. And we were constantly running those things out. And uh, so far that's kind of what it's been. So about three months ago we signed and ordered a Bobcat MT100 from Synergy Bobcat in Tampa. Um, we were kind of hopeful that we were going to get it between three to four weeks. It turned out to be closer to about two months that we were waiting for that guy. Uh, we ordered it with bucket, forks, and grapple. And uh, our sales guy told us that they were selling them pretty much as fast as they could make them. So there was a waiting list all across the U.S. And um, it just took some time. So if you saw our last video, we ended with on the side of I-4. So that was a day or two before our machine. I believe that morning uh, I had just found out that the machine was in Florida uh, in Daytona Beach and the sales guy was actually going to get it. So we were excited, we were hopeful that the next day we were gonna go pick up our machine and then the trailer situation happened. So on the side of I-4, wheel just sheared off, I had no idea what I was gonna do. I was so done with that trailer. We literally just purchased it probably three or four months prior to that happening. And I would want to say two weeks before that, I spent eight or 900 bucks getting the ramps fixed. So it was just done with the trailer and I didn't really know what to do. I knew that I needed something that if I had to put two pieces of equipment on, I could. Um, I really don't want to be towing around that much weight, especially when I'm in the city like I always am. Um, I just wanted something big enough where if I really needed to, I could throw both skid steers or the excavator and the skid steer or whatever on there together. And uh, I knew we needed something a little bit heavier because we are looking at getting a bigger excavator, sorry, or bigger skid steer, 333, something like that. So I knew we needed something a little heavier duty and um, kind of gooseneck is, is what we decided we really needed. So after the uh, trailer broke, left us on the side of I-4, I knew that we needed to get something so this is what we ended up getting so this is the trailer we ended up getting it is a 2023 big tex 22 gn it's an awesome trailer very heavy duty it has the dually wheels tandem axle i believe they're twin 10,000 pound oil bath trailer it has the mega ramps which is awesome both of these fold back they are pretty heavy that's the only downfall but they both fold back you can drive the equipment right on there no problem at all um, since we've had it 
we did have to do some warranty stuff to it. This axle, I don't know what was going on with it, but the lug nuts kept backing out. So we had to take it back to Champion Trailer in Tampa. They replaced that. So is this is the 20 foot deck with five foot ramps on the back. So and of course I'm towing it with the F-250 Platinum. So sitting up on here is our 2023 Bobcat MT-100. Right now it has the grapple bucket on it. This machine is a little tank, let me tell you. I've had some of my renters send me some photos of this thing picking up huge logs and just boulders and you name it, this thing's picked up. We went with the narrow track version. I believe it's it'll fit through a 36 inch fence. So it's great for backyards and stuff like that in the city. Um, so far, yeah, it's been great. It has right now 85 hours on it. So it's fairly new. Uh, it's already got a few dings on it. Somebody recently just busted this. Not a big deal. So, engine compartment. It's a little three-cylinder Kubota diesel. Uh, it's really actually kind of cool how they designed this. You have access to everything. These little plates come off on all the sides. I think this is the oil filter right in there. You got something else right there, and you got it on the other side too. So, got a little stand. You can hold this thing up and get in here to work. But like I said, we got this with a set of forks. The grapple and the bucket is actually in my house right now. Oh. It's in here, you got your battery, oil fill. It's a little dirty in here, it needs a bath. So it actually operates just like a regular skid steer. Forward, backwards, left, right. Bucket, up, down, curl, dump. You got your throttle, and you have your um, auxiliary for whatever attachment. They make augers, trenchers, all kind of stuff for this guy, so it's pretty cool. So down there we got our 317s ready to get picked up, so I'm going to go grab that, load that thing up. What I do is I pull this all the way forward, put the grapple up on top, and uh, kind of strap it down. So these are the mega ramps that I was talking about earlier. It's so nice, you just fold them down, you don't have to mess with anything. Our old trailer, you had to kind of adjust the ramps for smaller track stuff. This thing, you literally just drive it right on. So it's pretty sweet. So, I'm gonna get this thing up there and uh, go grab the 317. So this is the inside of the 317. Got 396 hours. AC. It's all a uh, push button, so it's pretty nice. No key, anything like that. So I just put the code in. All you do is hold the green start button, and you're good to go. So he used about a quarter tank of diesel. I don't charge him for diesel. He rents from us all the time. So let's go put this thing on the trailer. Get started. So these machines super simple once you have them running all you do is hit the park button that unlocks the hydraulics now right, we're good to go let's get them so this is how I get two pieces of equipment on here so got a little room to spare. These mega ramps are awesome. I will never buy another trailer without them. We got uh, the 317 on the back and the MT100 on here. And we're uh, gonna start heading home. So one thing that I forgot to say was when we were on in the hunt, or on the hunt I guess you should say, for a new trailer, we looked all over the state really. Uh, 
we knew we kind of wanted a gooseneck. My truck did not have, uh, it was prepped for one, but it did not have the actual uh, underside of the bed uh, hitch and all that installed. So I knew I would need to get a hitch and then uh, we'd have to get one installed on our dually that we just purchased. So we ended up finding this one here locally in Tampa and um, it was a it was a good deal, you know. Trailers are trailers, they're not cheap. You're gonna spend money. Uh, we've realized that spending more and getting better stuff always lasts longer than getting something cheaper. So, I spent the money, got this thing, so then uh, James, myself, and uh, our buddy Austin installed the hitch in the back. So, that was quite the experience. The next day we were extremely sore. Um, we didn't have a lift or anything, so we were just under the back of the truck, in the rain, trying to get this up in there. Uh, we were in a big rush because we had so many rentals that week. I really didn't have time to take a day off and not, you know, run equipment somewhere. So we had to cancel some rentals. Unfortunately, we were down to one trailer, so James was trying to get stuff where it needed to go. I needed this trailer back up and going. So in the midst of the goose neck hitch install, uh, the sales guy delivered the MT100 and, uh, the rest is history. So right now it is the beginning of October. Uh, we started the business, I think October 20th or something of 2022, I guess officially our LLC and everything was filed or approved that day. So we're about almost a whole year in business. Um, we're just getting back from uh, two weeks in Europe. Uh, James got married in London. So I'll throw a photo of James and I. And, um, he got married. We kind of took two weeks off the business, went over there, uh, went to Italy, cruised the coast, checked everything out. So we're just kind of getting back into the swing of things. Looking forward to the future. Um, we're kind of excited to see where everything's gonna go. So far, this has gone way better in the first year than we ever expected it to go. So we're, we're trying to feel things out, see exactly where we want to take the business to. Um, we put our name on a list for a nifty 50 self-drive. I think it's like the 50 SD. Uh, it's like a four wheel drive, 50 foot reach, nifty lift. Uh, but we were told about a year waiting list to get that thing. So that's kind of what our next piece of equipment is looking like is some type of a boom lift or aerial lift. Um, we really enjoy the skid steers and excavators. So, we'll kind of see what everything's going, but uh, so far, yeah, that's kind of our first year in business. Everything we've learned, uh, we've had equipment break, we've had windows shatter, uh, we had a guy bust hydraulic hoses off the grapple, and then rip the track off, and the machine was stuck um, up in Pasco County. So far, we've really been lucky and blessed that nothing major, you know, knock on wood has happened. Uh, we always try to educate our renters before we turn the machine over to them. Hey, if you've never used one, we'll sit with you for 5, 10, 15 minutes, make sure you're comfortable before we leave, and um, they know that they can call us with any questions or anything like that. So, so far everything's been great. We really enjoy the rental business. It's uh, very time consuming, but it pays off so if you guys have any questions anything you want us to do or see or check out some of the equipment just let us know in the comments and uh, thanks for joining along and let us know what you want to see next so have a good rest of your day